What's good sports gamers and with the last pick and roll tutorial vid we put out I went over the basics of how to dominate the pick and roll game in NBA 2K18 and with this vid I'm going to show you the advanced techniques I use to make your opponent's heart drop whenever they see this animation. Alright let's do it. When you think pick and roll, you think the ball handler going around the screen and either shooting or driving and making something happen. But what if I told you there are two ways you can use the screen without actually using the screen? The first is what I went over a little bit in the last bit is letting the defender run into the screen himself, which you can make happen versus user defenders. And the second is you baiting your opponent by using any of the dribble moves that you have at your disposal, which I went over in our dribble tutorial. You can also find that on our channel. And this will work versus users and the computer. And you can use the hand the ball is in relative to the screen to your advantage. Because users at least react different whether you have the ball screen side or away from it. When you have the ball on the same side of the screen, it's much easier to go around it than if you had it in the opposite hand, which you would need to go between the legs and behind the back first. So on the defender's head, they're like, okay, he's going to use the screen. So they're way more likely to prevent you from going around it by trying to jump out early to block you from using it. So when I say let guys take themselves out of the play by running into screens, this is what I mean. You see dude controlling Murray just completely takes himself out of the play, even getting the collision animation and I just went the other way. Surprised I hit this shot though. I just let the threat take care of it. Then here my opponent takes Steph out of the play anticipating the screen which gives me a 2 on 1 on Draymond and then I see the help and it ends up with a kick out for 3. All without me doing anything, just the threat of the screen did damage. And these two, I anticipate him taking himself out of the play by switching the ball to the opposite hand with the between the legs dribble right when he commits to the screen so I was able to take advantage of it much faster. So that makes if you're being guarded by a user a lot more hesitant to be aggressive towards the screen, at least until you make the first move. Like look here, I've been going away from the screen so much the dude even tries to cut me off the other way, basically surrendering the screen. And this is a bit early, he doesn't even react to the screen because he doesn't know what I'm going to do. He's so worried about my counter to the screen, he surrenders what I want to do in the first place, which is to use the pick and roll to get busy. So this game we had to do think twice about trying to jump out all crazy before I even make a move. Now when you run into the more hesitant defenders, or at least the ones who wait for you to do something first before they react, which can be the human opponents, but you mainly find it's against the computer AI defenders. You want to bait them into the screen by using crosses, spins, hesitations behind the back, or so whatever your favorite dribbling move is. Like I mentioned earlier, having the ball on the screen side, the threat of you actually using the screen is still greater, so we're still going to take advantage of that. With Mitchell here, I use a hesitation to give the threat of me using the screen, and he bites, and he goes under, so I cross the other way and hit a little mid-range jet. This one wasn't as pretty. I used the screen and spin back the other way with Isaiah. I actually got a lot closer to the rim than I thought I was going to get on this one. This one was against the computer. I just act like I was going to use the screen. The computer bites and slams into it. And I just push my player the other way with the left stick. And the computer is completely removed. And this one, oh, I'm proud of this one. I mean, look at this. Here's Westbrook. And starting with the ball in the opposite hand puts the on ball defender in a tough spot. You can drive easily, but the screen is on the opposite side, so what do they do? First you want to check if they take themselves out of the play because you have the ball in the other hand. They're giving up a drive much quicker if they do commit to the screen. But the threat of the ball on the screen side is strong, so we're going to put some defenders on skates real quick. That's why I like to be in protect the ball stance with my back towards the screen. Then I expose the ball towards it so the defender is going, oh, here it comes. Then you get him to commit and bam, he's done. And a quick switch to the screen side hand and switch back gets them leaning as well. You can explode towards the hoop a lot easier. Which opens up you switch your hands and actually using the pick and roll to keep them honest. 
And in the case of the defense hedging, which means the defender of the screener pops out, you want to stretch him as far away from the screen and on ball defender as possible to force the switch. Or if the defense outright switches the pick and roll, if your power forward or center is a threat down low in the paint, this is your time to take advantage of the switch down low with your big man. So once they switch, you want to call for a post up to the screener or give him the ball down low on a now much smaller defender. And another benefit on pick and rolls is if you haven't noticed, the roller gets a lot of rebound opportunities rolling to the basket. Like on this damn clip I showed you earlier, Nurkic has a free run to the basket for the rebound if I did miss the shot. So you can look at it like you have, sometimes can get a free jumper coming off the screen if you have a good rebounder rolling to the hoop because nobody's in any good position to box him out. And this is especially valuable driving to the hoop where you can force a two on one. So if you do decide to keep it and shoot, the roller has a good opportunity to get the rebound for you. Also against user defenders, you can play games on which side of the court the screener is actually setting the screen on. So when you call for a screen, once the player comes towards you, you switch the side and it will first appear like he's starting on the original side before settling on the one you chose. So to your opponent, it appears he's going one way, but he's really not. And that's another slick way to get defenders out of position without you really not doing anything with the ball. And something I didn't go over in my original pick and roll tutorial is slip screens, which are done by hitting LB or L1 again before your player sets for the screen. And this makes them cut to the basket. You pull these bad boys out when the defenders like to hedge the ball handler giving up wide open lanes down the middle. But I like to pull these off in the corners also so once the defender steps up or hedges, you have a clean angle and lane to the hoop. And the last one is if you find yourself passing to your roller but it gets tipped by a user or computer because they saw it coming, just pass to the nearest wing or corner then pass to the roller quickly changing the angle of the pass and prevents the deflection and puts you a step ahead of something your opponent thought they would get an easy steal on. Side Sports Games hope you can combine this with our original pick and roll tutorial vid and straight dominate on the court. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the NBA 2K18 content we put out. Alright people, I'm Chris. Thank you all for watching and be good y'all.